What's going on, YouTubers? Tech Man here. Um, this one's a little different than my normal car videos. Um, recently, I had a power supply go bad in my old PC. And even when I got a new one, uh, I still couldn't get it to boot up. So I pretty much kind of uh, did a mild rebuild. Get Got a new motherboard, graphics card, you know, RAM, power supply down here. Problem is, and even a new case. Um, the problem is, it still won't boot up. I've double, triple checked all my connections. They all look right, at least as far as I know. Um, the only things I've swapped over is my old hard drive and uh, DVD drive. And um, so, but anyways. Nothing is happening when I start it up now. I used a little uh, jumper plug on the power supply, and the power supply would run and spin. So the power supply mechanically was working. Um, it's just not getting power or... Uh, wait, let me check this. What is this one right here? Reset. Well, I had this plugged in anyways, and it still didn't fire up, so I'm not really convinced that's... Well, I'll show you what, what, it's, what it is doing, because I did have that actually plugged in. Didn't miss this one. Uh, this reset switch or something like that. I guess I could try to plug it in real quick, but I'll show you. Let me plug this in, and I'll show you what it's doing. Okay, I got that plugged in. So I'm plugging in the power supply. Hang on. I'm gonna turn the flash off. I want you guys to see this. Like when I hit the switch, this is what is it doing? Well, it didn't do it that time, obviously. Pretty much what happened is the LED on the motherboard would blink and um, that's it. So, you know, I'm push the power button, nothing. So this is pretty much the problem I've been having. Um, this is the first time I've ever put a computer together. I think I did okay. You know, I uh, watched a lot of videos and it's pretty straightforward, you know. Um, but I just can't figure out why it won't power on. Now, if any of you guys have any helpful advice, let me know in the comments because I would love to not have to take this to Micro Center and have it professionally fixed. Um, if it's something simple I'm overlooking or maybe it's something else. I do have warranties on all these parts that I replace. So if it is a bad defective part, maybe the motherboard, um, I'll be able to swap that out. So just let me know. I'll catch you guys in the comments. All right.